The best thing I learned from the team internship this year was a newfound sense of empathy in the way I teach. When I'm teaching these environmental concepts to my students, I really hope that my passion transfers along the way. So when they come back to their communities, they would actively practice what they said and what they learned. And in whatever way these students choose to do those things, I'm proud that I was part of that process. The team is a group for teenagers around the Bay Area. Um, it stands for Teen Environmental Education Mentorship. There is 17 of us. We come out here once a week and we play science games and we do activities with youth here for outdoor education. And it's a really great opportunity to learn how to educate and learn about environmental stewardship and about just the incredible community that the Headlands is. Because most of these kids come from like urban, really urban cities and they don't have much access to like outdoors. And, and I remember growing up in the city. There, there wasn't really a lot of nature to be seen growing up. And um, looking back, I just wish I had the same opportunity as some of these students. So first, we have opening circle. Giving kudos to people, just describing and looking over what our day is going to be like. And that's, I really look forward to that part because I'm just like, what are we going to do today? Am I marine life? Am I teaching? So, you know, it's fun to figure out like what, what you're going to do. And then we have our first session. And sometimes that means teaching kids. Sometimes that means developing activities. We mainly teach eco-athletics, which centers around a certain theme from, it could be anything from limiting factors, um, marine ecology. Which sometimes that means we take care of animals in the marine lab here. If you're working in the marine lab, you know, you do marine life stuff. We feed them this disgusting, like, squid. <laughs> Cutting squid to be to the starfish, to the eel, um, sculpin, or kelp, where we feed that to the, uh, the urchins. And then we have dinner. Then we have uh, dinner, which is uh, where we come and talk about first session and what went right and what went wrong. And then we have second session, which can mean any of those three things again. Um, so it's usually pretty busy here, um, but it's a good busy. I also learned how to teach people in a more concise way because they used to ramble on and on. And we were kind of like thrown into it in the beginning and it was nerve wracking and it was scary. And I was like, I don't know if it's going to work, but in the end, I really love teaching and it's been such a great experience and I'm so comfortable talking in front of people now so much more than I was before. You can't control the kids because they're crazy as they are. And so what you have to do is go with the flow with them and in turn have fun with them. To actually relate to them and not treat them as students, but more of equal individuals. I think sometimes when they're being taught by youth, kids have a hard time um, seeing you as an authority figure, especially someone like me who's not much bigger and not much more intimidating than they are. And how do you sort of maintain control while still being a fun person for the kids to connect with because, I mean, we, we have to make fun of ourselves a little bit. We're high school students and we're here pretending to be adults. The biggest thing that team helped me with was public speaking skills, and I'm never going to forget that. Because when I came into team as the first year, I was the shyest kid around. It may not look like it right now, but I was really shy. And I didn't, I, if it, this was still first year, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't be here talking to this camera. My mentor, Jim, from last year, he really encouraged me and he really gave me some strong advice and, you know, he just, he just like reinforced me. We felt like he was like there to help me out if I needed it. So, and that was a really like comforting feeling because I knew I had backup there if I needed it. And I also love having the freedom that we did here to try new things. And, and so that's really cool that it's a supportive community in a beautiful place. I don't get to go outside a lot just because of like where I live or if I do it's very limited space like I go to the park and that's it. So like here I can go out and look at 
all this and the mountains and everyone. And then I also have friends here, so that's fun. The Headlands is a really cool place. So for anyone who hasn't really immersed yourself here, um, it's worth doing because it's pretty rare that you have a national park that's a stone's throw away um, and that it has so much going on. So if you haven't, get there. Big huge thank you to Mira and the mentors. Um, and just, yeah, I mean, and just the, all of the adults here because I think that they've really supported all of us and um, made us feel so very welcome here um, and that was really good of all of them. Um, so whether you, they were helping out in summer training or whether they're mentors or whether they're Mira who runs every, any and all aspects of team, I don't think we can say thank you enough. I'm a team intern. Hi, I'm Joyce and I'm a team intern. I'm Katie and I'm a team intern. Hi, I'm Erin and I'm a team intern. Hi, I'm Betty and I'm a team intern. Hi, I'm Judy, I'm a team intern. Hi, I'm Oscar and I'm a team intern. I'm Hannah and I'm a team intern. Hi, I'm Casey and I'm a team intern. Hello, my name's Luis and I'm a second year team intern. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm a team intern. I am Jasmine and I am a team intern. Hi, I'm Kenny and I'm a team intern. Raymond and I'm a wait. I'm a team intern. Close enough. And I'm Antonio. And I'm a team intern. <laughs>